Hey yo, what's up guys, John Bogle here, and today we're going to be talking about when you should actually start getting the crazed cats. Now previously on a similar video, we went into, of course, the topic of when you should start Into the Future Chapter 1 on an account in the beginner phase, and we dived into how you could prepare to take on Into the Future Chapter 1 when you know you'll be ready to take on Into the Future Chapter 1 by various factors like cat levels, certain cat units or certain counters, and a few other variables that really will count for your progression in that specific field being into the future chapter one. Well, in this video, we're going to be diving into the crazed cats. When should you start the crazed cats? When should you obtain them or try to obtain them? What levels should you have? What units should you have? Which one should you do first? There are lots of common questions about the crazed cats in the beginner phase and I'm gonna try to go through all if not most of them in this video. So to start off, how do you know when you're ready to start the crazed cat stages or try to take them on? Now it is a pretty simple question but when you break it down of course there is lots of routes to this because of course there is multiple crazed cats and each being very different or somewhat different and the requirements being different for each and it varies and it depends on what units you have and there are lots of other tiny little variables like that. So to combo in with this common question we're gonna tie the question of which one should you go for first. Now as a very solid baseline the thing you should try to aim for for getting all of the craze cats is at least level 30 units of course it goes without question that you're going to need all of the empire of cats treasures and other than that maybe a couple battle items like sniper rich cat or cpu and that is the solid baseline for all of the craze cats now like i mentioned earlier there's lots of different variables that go into taking on each crazed cat stage some are easier some are more difficult some require more levels some require different units. So going back to the question of which one you should do first, first of all, we're gonna break it down into three different categories. The first category is the joke stages. This is where you'll need minimal requirements, minimal investment, and you'll achieve maximum profit. Of course, in this case, that being obtaining the crazed cat by beating the craze stage. The second category will be the more intermediate stages where of course maybe you'll need a little bit more levels or a little bit more requirements, maybe some battle items, maybe certain units that are hard to obtain. And the last category is of course the somewhat difficult stages for a beginner account. That will be, of course, needing certain level requirements to, of course, stand a chance in the stage. It's not a should have thing anymore, it's a need now. And of course, there is other things like true forms. You might need some true forms for some of these cats if you do want to beat them very easily. And of course, just the level difficulty. Some craze cats are just more difficult than the others, so these are the ones you should go for last, and that's why they are in the somewhat difficult category. Now with all of the three categories in mind here, of course, we mentioned the baseline, which is level 30 units and all treasures and some battle items. With that, you can pretty much beat all of the craze cat stages. You might need a unit here or there, or some extra boost, minimal boost here and there, but most of the time you'll probably be able to just beat all the craze cats. Once again, the craze cats are not too much of a difficult thing to do in the beginning of the game. Most of the time people just go in underprepared and underleveled and they get whooped. So all of them are pretty easy to obtain, but of course some will be harder to obtain than others. Now let's start with the joke stages category. Now pretty much you could put all of them in this category, but of course it might require certain variables, like of course certain units. We'll dive into some of these specific units for each stage later on in the video, but for now, let's just put them into basic category. So of course, in the joke stages category, we have none other than crazed fish and crazed cat. 
Now, both of these cats can be obtained with level 20 units, not even 25, level 20, and the requirements are little to none, that being that you only need to beat the red cyclone for crazed fish to get a critical hitter for, of course, the super metal hippo in this stage, and red cyclone is a big joke, so it is literally nothing at all, and... Other than that, you just need a level 20 Bahamut, level 20 attackers, and that's pretty much it. Same thing with Craze Cat. Craze Cat, you only need level 20 Bahamut, level 20 Dragon, and if you do have Paris, that's a huge boost. But that's pretty much it for the joke stages category, and it is very simple, and that's how it should be, as it is a big joke. Well, moving on into the more intermediate stages of course this being the stages that require a bit more investment and possibly stages you might need to prepare for ahead of time even more than the previous stages i'll list the stages here so the stages in the intermediate category is craze tank craze bird craze cow craze gross and craze titan this is the second batch of stages that you should try to go for after doing the first batch but of course there is different variables where you might be able to do pretty much all of these so that is something to keep in mind but of course we are keeping it basic for now so make sure to watch this whole video don't miss out on the info because we are going to dive into even more detail on the specifics later on anyways Starting off, of course, Craze Tank was mentioned first. This is borderline in the joke category. The reason I did put it in the intermediate category is because it will require more than level 20 units. I would say level 25 is the safe number for this stage. And of course, the stages in the joke category are able to be completed without battle items very easily with level 20 units. Here, you might need some battle items. You might need Sniper Cat Power Up. You might need CPU. Well, you won't need CPU, but it is very helpful. And next up is Craze Bird. And this is another one that was borderline in the joke stages category. But of course, this does require a bit more. So it is in the intermediate category. That being a bit more cat levels, a bit more specific units if you do have them. And of course a bit more skill then next up we have crazed cow and this is more leading to the opposite side where it is firmly in the intermediate stages category because the level requirements are a bit higher here that being level 25 plus even 30 but the stage itself is very very easy to do so it is just in the intermediate category next up we got is crazed titan and of course, this is a, another intermediate stage that is leaning more towards the side with Crazed Cow, where you might need a bit extra levels here, a bit more level requirements, a bit more preparation than the previous stages. And the stage itself is pretty easy, but of course, there is some RNG involved. So that is the reason why it's in the intermediate category. And lastly, in the intermediate category, we have Craze Gross, a wild card here. Of course, without preparation, this could be in the somewhat difficult stages because, of course, it requires higher levels than the previous stages, but the stage itself is very easy as well once you figure it out. So it is a wild card. It's a stage that's very simple and easy, but you do get punished in this stage if you are low leveled. But of course, there is specific units that do make this stage and every other Craze Cat stage a joke. But that wraps up the intermediate stages category. And now let's hop into the final category of stages. And that is the somewhat difficult stages. Of course, as a reminder, these are the stages that require a little bit more preparation from the previous stages and of course it might require specific units that are harder to obtain it might require battle items it might require more strategy the stage itself might be more difficult but in the somewhat difficult stages category of course we have crazed axe and crazed lizard now let's start with crazed lizard because this is borderline a intermediate stage but i 
put it in these somewhat difficult stages because of course the level difficulty itself it does require some cycle timing and a bit more strategy so that is why it is barely in the somewhat difficult stages category like the baseline mentioned early in the video level 30 treasures and battle items Crazed Lizard is basically the perfect example of that. If you have those three things, you can probably beat this stage pretty easily. And of course, the last Crazed Cat to mention here is Crazed Axe. While everyone knows this stage is not the greatest stage to attempt for accounts in the beginner phase, but of course, there is certain units that make it a complete joke, and we'll get into that later. But for now, Crazed Axe is by far the most requirement-heavy Crazed Cat stage, and of course the most difficult crazed cat stage basing off the level difficulty of course by level difficulty i mean strategy mixed with the boost of the enemies and the boost of the enemies in this stage is very high for a stage in the beginner phase so there is all of the crazed cats broken down into basic basic categories I'll list them all here on the screen, bam, so you can see them all at once. There it is. So we briefly covered how to know when you're ready for them and which one you should go for first. But now instead of talking about how to get ready for them, let's talk about what you'll actually need to get ready for them. Now to just quickly summarize it, of course there is the main baseline, just level 30 units and all treasures from Empire of Cats 3 and a couple battle items. But for people who want the specifics, worry not, we're gonna get a little bit into more detail here on the specific requirements or some units that really do help complete the stage and some stuff you might need other than the main baseline of requirements that was listed previously. Now in the joke stages category which has crazed fish and crazed cat, there is really no requirements here except for crazed fish which you might need a critical hitting unit but that is obtainable on the red cyclone. Of course, Space Cat is a no gotcha critical hitter, which can really help out in Crazed Fish. And of course, it is very easy to obtain. It outranges the Super Metal Hippo and it is stackable. So it is just a perfect counter for the Super Metal Hippo in this stage. So in the joke category, all you need is level 20 units. And of course, somewhat of a main attacker paris can work as your slot in main attacker dragon works as well but of course you have crazed bahamut at your disposal and that will help you out tremendously as for other specific units on crazed cat you can stuff like majika cat or driller or hacker on crazed fish if you are doing it late of course you can true form jurassic cat and get to that true form to completely destroy the stage or the super metal hippo at least and of course, some other true forms that completely destroy that stage is Cyborg as well. If you don't have Paris or Cyborg, you can use Drama Cats as a replacement. Now, every other Crazed Cat unit can be put in the joke stages category with the right units and of course, right requirements. And starting it off, of course, we're going to mention one obvious one. If you have Kotatsu Cat, of course, the true form evolving into Octopus Cat, Craze Gross becomes a complete big joke and that is probably the first craze you should go for if you do have Octopus Cat. Of course that means you're gonna have to get Kotatsu up to level 30 but all of your attackers can still be at level 20 and you'll be fine. Another cat that completely demolishes the stage is if you actually went and did Into the Future Chapter 3 before getting the Craze Cats of course a Bahamut is able to very much destroy the stage that is Craze Gross as well. Of course, Cyborg, Drama are very good mentions to put in there. Now, Crazed Axe, commonly looked at as the hardest Crazed Cat, becomes a massive joke with the power of some true forms. That being iCat or Apple Cat's true form, then of course Bishop Cat's true form, which is of course Sanzo Cat. And of course, Murkat's true form, which becomes Cameraman. Some mentions in there as well is Sushi's true form, Rokat, Elemental Duelist can help out, Bathcat can help out tremendously, Can 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 help out tremendously. Now moving on to Craze Tank, of course, 
There is one main unit here and that is Hacker Cat or Cyberpunk if you do have it, but even just a level 20 Hacker Cat can tremendously help beating the stage a lot faster and easier. And this is going to be kind of a trend for the next few ones. Up next we have Crazed Lizard where once again Hacker Cat slash Cyberpunk is very very powerful in this stage. Same thing with Can Can or Hip Hop's True Form. And of course if you do have a Bahamut as well. Crazed Whale at level 20 can also tremendously help on Crazed Lizard, as well as Cameraman with its great survivability and DPS on the autos as well. Now Crazed Bird is probably the most bullied stage here because Crazed Bird actually has a trait and that is floating. So you can abuse some anti-floating units here such as Swimmer Cat, Sadako, and of course the True Forms will help out greatly as well but even at level 25 or even level 20 you might be able to slide by with just swimmer sadako and a basic lineup of course hacker cat at level 20 or cyberpunk if you do have the true form is a huge huge help in the stage crazed whale also a very nice option in this stage and will help out tremendously at level 20 of course can can is very powerful in this stage and a Bahamut completely tears apart the stage as well. Craze Titan is a bit of a weird one because you can use the strategy from Manic Titan or Manic Jamera on Craze Titan and completely destroy the stage. That of course being mixing Octo with Cyberpunk using a long range strat. But since Craze Titan doesn't do as much damage as Manic Jamera, of course, you can abuse Octocat in this stage and get by very well. Using Cyberpunk paired with Octo, of course, is ideal. And of course, if you want to, you can use a Bahamut as just cycling big damage on Crazed Titan as well. Of course, if you do happen to beat Crazed Lizard first, which I do recommend for Crazed Titan, you can use that in this stage at level 20. It does help out tremendously. And lastly, Crazed Cow is also a very easy stage with of course the power of Murkat's true form which is cameraman and of course a Bahamut which completely tears apart the stage. Of course you can abuse Crazed Bird with level 25 units and if you did get Crazed Bird first using a level 20 Crazed UFO on Crazed Cow is very powerful but that pretty much sums up some of these specific units for each stage which make every stage a big joke and of course there are Many, many, many other units I could talk about here, but I'm not going to cover every single unit for every single stage. This video would be way too long. But as a final mention, I will say Sniper Cat or Sniper the Deadeye is a very powerful unit in a lot of these stages. And it is a very key unit for some of the later stages in the game as well. So... If you have Sniper Cat as a unit, it is very powerful for the Crazed Cats. So we talked about how to know when you're ready for specific stages. We talked about which stages you should go for first or which stages are easier to prepare for. We mentioned the baseline of the requirements of what you'll need. But do you actually need the Crazed Cats? Do you have to get all the Crazed Cats? And the answer is no. You actually don't need all of the crazed cats. Yes, they can help out tremendously, but you have other powerful units at your disposal, then you won't need the crazed cats. I see the crazed cats more of a baseline of progression, and it is a mark to let you know, hey, you beat all the crazed cats, you've made it to this point, so you're ready for the next phase. So you don't need all the crazed cats. I do highly recommend getting all of them though as they will come handy in the future and if you are missing some of the key gacha units they could fill in those holes very well for later in the game. An early game example is Crazed Fish. You can get it at level 20 units and if you don't have good gachas for Into the Future, Crazed Fish will carry you through all of Into the Future. Chapter 1 at least. But yeah, that was pretty much it. That was a video on when to start the Crazed Cats. When should you get the Crazed Cats? There's a lot of information in this video, so make sure you go through and pick out what you need and use it to your advantage for taking on these Crazed Cat stages. I do hope some of these questions, these common questions about the Crazed Cats of when to start have been answered in this video. If it did, let me know, drop a like, 
if it did help you out. I might make a whole separate video of specific units for each stage. Maybe we'll see in the future. I'm definitely going to make a video on all of the key gotcha units for the entire game. So keep an eye out for that in the future as well, because a lot of you have been asking what are the key gotcha units and I figured making a video explaining what all the key gotcha units are and how they can help and which ones to get and which ones you need will be a very nice video on its own. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Of course, once again, drop a like if this helped you out. Subscribe if you're new. Join the hashtag Boogle Gang. Of course, there's a Discord in the description down below. Make sure you go join. There's a Battle Cats event going on right now. So cool stuff always. There's monthly Nitro giveaways there. And yeah, that's it. It's been the Craze Cats, Boogle, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.